Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki Pasquier. I am a Canva certified creative and I teach you how to use Canva to market your brands online. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you know exactly when I've published a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create two different types of animated YouTube subscribe buttons using Canva to help you grow your YouTube channel fast. As with all your marketing strategies, the easiest way to achieve your business goals is to include a call to action. You need to direct your audience to take your desired course of action instead of leaving it to chance. So to help you grow your YouTube channel, you'll want to encourage viewers to subscribe to your channel. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to create an animated YouTube end screen to help keep your viewers on your channel and increase your subscribers. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave the link in the description box below. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw your viewers' attention to that little subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your YouTube screen. And then I'm going to show you how to add that little bell sound to your animated YouTube subscribe button to remind viewers to turn on their notifications. All you will need for this tutorial is a free or pro Canva account and your usual video editing tool. So if you're ready, let's make a start. From your Canva homepage, go to the top right hand corner and click on create a design. Click custom dimensions and we're going to use the following dimensions, 1000 by 300 pixels. Next add the text. You need to use a pretty bold text because it needs to stand out. So I'm going to use my brand font here. If you want to search for other text to use, go to the search tool and type in bold. And you'll see you've got a huge selection to choose from. I'm going to stick with my brand font for now. I'm going to align the font to the right and then edit the text. To change the colour of the text, click on the text colour button here and I'm going to change it to the YouTube red. I'm also going to click on the new effects tool and I'm going to add a shadow. Next I want to search for the YouTube icon. So I'm going to click on elements in the sidebar and use the search tool. And I'm going to select the red one. Bring that over to the left hand side slightly and increase the size. Once you've got your first template, what you're going to do is you're going to animate it. So you click on the background of the template until it's surrounded by this blue line. Go up to the toolbar and click on animate. And these are relatively new features. You'll see that there are some which are available for all Canva users and some which are available for Canva Pro users only. You see this little crown in the top right hand corner, which means it's only for Canva Pro. But I'm going to use this feature here. It's called block. So to animate the template, I just click on it once and that's done. Now, another brand new feature, which you probably haven't seen before, is this one here. It's the page timer. Now, what this does, it edits the timing of an animation. So at the minute, this animation lasts for five seconds. Now, I want to reduce that slightly. I'm going to reduce it so that it's three seconds in duration. Next, what I'm going to do is duplicate this page by clicking on the duplicate page button. And now I have two pages, one and the other. And I'm now going to make sure that the block animation applies to this page as well. So I'm going to go to the left hand side here and I'm going to check this little box here that says apply to all pages. And that's done. 
Now, since my first animated page was three seconds long and I added a second animated page, which was also three seconds long, together they should be six seconds in duration. So if you go to the top right hand corner of the toolbar, you'll see that that's correct. It is now six seconds in duration. I can test this out by clicking on this play button. And that looks perfect. Now what I want to do is I want to add a fresh new page. So I'm going to go to the bottom here and click add a new page. I'm also going to copy this text here by clicking on it once to select it and then clicking on the duplicate button. Now I'm just going to drag it down onto my fresh new page. But instead of subscribe now, I'm going to type notifications. I'm also going to change the colour. Perfect. Now what I need to do is add this little bell icon to the side here. So I'm going to go to Elements and search for Bell. Once you find one that you like the look of, click on it once to bring it up onto your template. I'm just going to move it to one side and that's it. I'm now going to animate this template by adding some little lines to the side of the bell to make it look as if it's ringing. So I'm going to go over to elements in the sidebar and search for stickers and lines. And you have a wonderful selection to browse through and select what you like. Click once to bring the sticker up onto your template and then drag the sticker into place. Just click on the duplicate button to create another copy and move it to the other side. I'm now going to click on the duplicate page button to copy the page. To animate them, I'll select the background Go to the top to the animate button and make sure that the block animation is selected, which it is, and it's applied to all pages. Perfect. So all in all now, these templates, when put together, are 12 seconds in duration. I'm going to check to see how that looks. I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is download it now as an MP4 video and I'm going to download all the pages. Next I'm going to hop over to my video editing tool. I use Filmora but you can use whichever editing tool you're used to using and I'm going to upload my Canva subscribe button video file. And here you can see it in my media section of my video tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it down with my cursor and just drag it on to the video timeline. And you can see that it appears right over the centre of my video. Now of course I'm not going to leave it like that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on it to select it. I'm going to grab one of these corner buttons here with my cursor, hold the cursor down and just minimise it in size. And I'm also going to bring it down to the right hand corner of my video screen like that. So let me just play this through really quickly so that you can see what it looks like. And I think you'll agree that is really eye catching. And here's a really cool Nikki Ninja tip for you. You can leave the background of this call to action button white or better still, you can remove it completely. And to do that, you need to double click on the call to action button that you've just uploaded. And in your video editing tool, you need to locate the chroma key green screen feature. And to enable it, I'm just gonna put a little tick in this tiny box here. Now usually I'd use this tool to remove my green screen background. 
but on this occasion I'm going to click on the little pipette and I'm going to select the white background of my subscribe button to remove that and you're left with a completely transparent background to your call to action which actually I think is more attractive. I'm just going to go back and play that through just to let you see what that now looks like. And personally, I much prefer it with a transparent background. Now that you know how to create an animated YouTube subscribe button in Canva, I'm going to share my second version with you. And I'm also going to show you how to add that little bell notification. So here I am back in Filmora. I've uploaded the second version of my YouTube subscribe button. I'll just show you what that looks like. I've blurred out the background of the video just so the subscribe button really pops. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that little bell sound. If I need any quick sound effects for YouTube, I usually go to this website here. It's called Zapsplat. You can use the search button to search what you're looking for. So I searched on Ting and I downloaded this sound effect here. I downloaded it as an MP3 sound file. Please do make sure you check the standard license because it may be that you have to give some kind of attribution. So I've uploaded my little bell sound into Filmora and I'm just going to select it with my cursor and drag it onto the video timeline. Now this is slightly fiddly because timing is everything and you want the bell sound to play exactly at the right time. So let me just scroll through very slowly so that I get this right. And I need the bell sound to play right here. So I'm just gonna select the sound file here with my cursor and just drag it along the video timeline until it's lined up exactly there. And this is what it looks like. So that is it for this week's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments box. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. I will see you next time. Bye.